Hi guys, I hope you are doing very well today. If you are new here, my name is Joseph. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer. We've been on this series for a while and I just intend that we should continue from where we stopped. So if you are new to this channel, kindly hit on the, the subscribe button if you find it uh, useful. And then if you like the video, you can also leave a like and you can leave a comment. If you have any question, you can also post it there. Okay, so continuing from where we stopped i just want to do office.com first so that we can start from the beginning to sign into this uh, admin center now here we are click on admin and then it's going to land us into the admin center right okay so here we go now what we do next we have dealt a lot with um, users active users contact guests deleted users and all of that so i want us to look at um, teams and groups today so if you look at teams and group we're going to be looking at Creating M365 group, distribution list, security group, and all of that. So we're going to look at that. So look at policies. Policies can be well dealt with when we, especially when we get to Microsoft Teams. So we may have to just look at it by the surface here. Then when we get to Microsoft Teams, we are going to dive deeper into policies. Okay. Now deleted groups, of course, just like deleted users, but we're still going to look at it here too. So you see shared mailbox, shared mailbox. We are going to deal more on this when we get to um exchange admin center okay so but let's look at uh, teams and group all right so teams and group active teams and group and then we're going to have about four different types of group here that you can create okay so you have the m365 group you have the distribution list you have the mailed enable security and then you have the security group let's see what all of these do just so we can have a one line explanation let's click on add a group and then you can see that it's listing all the groups that we have is a choose the group type that best meets your need all right now microsoft 365 is recommended because it can create a group email to collaborate you can also add microsoft teams for the group conversation for the files and then for calendar and all of that so that is for microsoft 365 group then you have distribution list the distribution list creates an email address for a group of people now let me explain to you for example you have guys in the IT um, department that are about just a number of people right and you want it to be that you want to send an email to the IT department you have just one singular email address just so when you pop an email to that email it distributes to everyone who is a part of that distribution list does that make sense now let's say for example you are you also have hr department you have hr at domain.com right now when you send an email to that hr at that domain.com it distributes to everyone in that group that you create or that distribution list that you created let's take for instance that you have customers a lot of customers whom you have in a distribution list for example if there is a scheduled maintenance in your system you can just send an email to just that one singular email address and it gets distributed to everyone who is in that distribution list now you have security group the security group is actually for um for access control right it's actually for access control like you can use it for um, mobile device management, access to OneDrive, who can create group in Microsoft 365. You can actually segregate people out of the entire persons by putting those people in a security group. Maybe in one of the classes, I am going to take care of um, who can create group in M365. That way you create those whom you want to be want to give access to create group into a security group so that anyone who is not in the security group cannot create m365 group anywhere right so we'll, we'll deal on that later but security group is actually to maintain access to manage access to resources in your environment the mail enable distribution i mean mail enable security group actually here is saying is a distribution list that can be used to control access to onedrive and sharepoint so now looking at all of this let's create m365 group and then we should also create distribution list just one and one of these so that we can see how it feels now when you click on create and then you just do next since you are taking the first one so let's just do starting with m365 m365 is the name of the group okay so when you do that you can give a description this is a demo group okay 
that you do next. Now, what happened at this point is you have to give this group a an owner, right? If you would want to promote this group to a team, take note of this. All the owners must have Microsoft Teams active license. Else, you will not be able to add this group to team now select up to 20 people to join the group as owners you can add more more later from active teams and group the information i just shared with you please keep that handy okay so i'm going to select this guy as an owner let me just bring um i think i have an account here that bs joseph this should be the account all right so i'm going to add two users of course i can add up to 20 users right now you can do next and then it's time for you to add members to this group so i'm just going to add um, this guy i'm going to add our usual deborah smith that we have used earlier and then this guy and then this guy maybe that's all right let's just add this four plus the two owners to make a six all right, so we're going to do next and then to just ask for setting right what is the email address i want to give to this group let me just say starting with um oh let me just do m365 starts 365 starts so that it doesn't look too long starts then i scroll down this asks me to either make it public public group can be joined by everyone who's getting approval Without getting an approval from a group owner, anyone can access the group content. Therefore, private, private aren't open to everyone to join them. And group owners, uh, let's go back. Group owners are the ones that can add the members to them. Only members can access the group content. That's just um, information group for public and then for private. Now, look at something that you again need to take care of here. Role assignment allow admin role to be assigned to this group and then it's saying that role assignment should be enabled only when group is private all right you have to take note of it okay now what's the next thing here add microsoft teams to this group if you want to check this the group is not automatically going to become a microsoft teams group but because of what i want to do right i just want to check this so that it can automatically convert this group to become a team and we can see it pop up but before we do that let's even try to open our teams just so we can be sure that we don't have anything with that name okay all right loading up come on I'm sure it's here already yeah sure so i just want us to go to teams and then in teams you would find out that um, you would find out that i only have group from outlook let me be sure yeah group from outlook and all of this there is no that group is not here already right i just want us to close all of this so we have one two three four five okay so now let's go back to this place because i'm checking this it should automatically pop up this group for me in teams as a team with one channel the general channel once i am done creating it here so let me do next and then i click on this is just for me to review group type is m365 what's the name the name is starting with m365 so i'm expecting to see this in teams once we are done now the owners are these and then i can just um, just just information about it this is the email address and i can click on create okay so it's adding to it's adding this group all right so let's just hold on for it let it just fully add that to the team okay so starting with m365 group has been created starting with m365 will appear in active teams and group within five minutes okay within five minutes now that the group has been created you can change the setting can do all so we can click on close all right so i'm expecting that in the next five minutes 
maximum it should show up in teams but let's even refresh we can just be lucky we have always been lucky in this series right we can just be lucky that it just show up upon one refresh let's see let's see okay thank you almost here 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 yeah sure it's here already so you can see starting with m365 is already here as a um team and as a group now let's see you can create you can create more channels using this so we can talk about this when we get to teams now let's quickly go to um sharepoint admin center and you can also see that the group is also going to be there i'm just trying to show you where this group is going to be replicated so i'll click on sharepoint clicking on sharepoint is going to load it up and then it's going to show me on the active sites that group is also going to be created here in active sites um let's scroll down what's the name of that group again starting with m365 here so it has a site you can click on the sites uh, I'm not doing all of this so you can see it here right it's loading up so you can see that it has four members and those members are those people that we selected from m365 if you equally go to azure active directory you are also going to see this same group there where is it azure active directory so you are going to also see this group coming up here also that's why in most organization people use security group to control those who can create group because of course if you had gone to teams also to create this group it will also come here as well right so if you come to groups and then you see it all groups then i'm sure you're going to see it here now replicated already since it was even there in um, yes 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 so let's scroll down and check starting with m365 yep you are here so and if you check for that so you're still going to see that the same members are still the members of this group you can look at members properties and all of that so this group was created from m365 right and then it gets replicated to sharepoint and then it also gets replicated in um, azure active directory if you go to teams admin center let's just do that for a final wrap up of this video if I go to Teams Admin Center as well, I'm still going to have this group listed there. I just hope this is going to open very soon. So, because Teams Admin Center sometimes is slower than other admin centers. I don't know why. So, But it's going to replicate here too. So, you see the places where we find this group now. We saw it in SharePoint. We saw it in M365. We saw it in Azure. And we created it from M365 Admin Center. And here coming to Microsoft Teams, we are still going to have it here. On that, click down here and then manage Teams. And then you're going to see that that same group, M starting with M365, is also going to be here with one standard channel, which is the, you know, the general channel. So when we get to Teams, we can talk about that. So you can see that it's here and then that email address we gave it and then if you scroll down here you can see that we have these members and the two owners that we selected from m365 are the owner of this group right so this is why sometimes organizations do not want everyone in the in the organization to be able to create group because of course if you had done this from here join or create from teams here to create this team to create this group as a team it will also replicate in these areas so when we get to security group and then when we come to teams proper we are going to be dealing on more specific issues all right so if you have not subscribed to this channel you may like to do that now if you like this video please give it a like and then you can share with your friend just so we can keep learning together if you need any assistance clarifications or yeah you can just reach out to me and i'll be happy to um, work with you you already know my accounts in linkedin you can send me a dm i will be happy to attend to you so bye from here the next one is coming out very soon so just make sure you stay tuned